et rebonsoir. Voilà, euh, bon, j'ai passé sur mon plan B, hein, je suis désolé. Watch Dogs, ça ne va pas, il me faudra une version PS4 absolument. Ce qui me fait chier, c'est que ça sera pas demain la veille que j'en trouverai une, parce que le jeu est encore assez cher. Donc, plan B. Voilà, on va découvrir ce jeu qui est un genre d'RPG fantasy. Dans un univers un peu mousquetaire, pirate et tout ça. Un petit instant. C'est une totale découverte, hein, je ne connais pas le jeu. <rire> J'espère qu'il va me plaire. S'il me plaît pas, bah ça sera juste une découverte comme ça dessus. Généralement c'est la première. Euh... Normalement quand ma première impression n'est pas la bonne, généralement. Je ne continuerai, je ne continue pas les jeux, mais. en histoire parce que ce genre de RPG moi je j'appréhende hein, donc euh...
Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There, now, hold the pose. D'accord, donc il y a un système de création de perso. Donc la cicatrice dégueulasse sur le côté, on est obligé de la voir à part. Donc trois, euh, trois disciplines, la magie, la technique ou le guerrier, bah, je vais prendre la voie du guerrier.
Ouais d'accord, son bras d'un on peut mettre qu'un seul point. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. That's a compliment, my lord, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your particularity gives you character. You're still here? We've nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lord. You are leaving with a tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir. Truly, I must be going. Uh, my lord, please, I beg you. Her Highness has personally requested my finish. Oh, thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that.
caméra est un petit peu d'un poil trop sensible. Green blood. Cut. And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Oh, I'm not a cold is mercenary. I know you like us. Hmm. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. Kurt, I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! thought myself a competent weapons master it's becoming a little hard to believe don't add insult to injury this is humiliating enough we'll need to get you through the basics or you risk getting your feathers plucked at the first sign of trouble that could definitely come in handy in that case Otto here is gonna be your training partner go fight with honor
see what you're capable of. It appears we've brushed up on the basics. It does, and I'd like to be on my way. I've quite the list of things to do before we depart. Indeed. Remember that you can always train in our barracks on the island if you're feeling rusty. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes, you know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. On the contrary, I'm thrilled that both you and Sir de Cossillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Ah, so the old goat is coming too. And there I was thinking I would die of boredom on the trip. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night and we haven't seen him since. Ça a été fait par un studio français, je pense que ça a été fait par le studio Focus Interactive. My heart wasn't in the mood for celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort that to know my son has left on a mission to heal his people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here. Take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off.
stop. Sorry, Greenblood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You're right. Maybe he's already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier? In the lower Boris, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Ah, premier compagnon. Where would you like to begin? I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. You think Constantine will be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it's certainly worthy of inspection. Greetings, Your Excellency. La date de sortie du jeu c'est 2019. Hein. Il est récent mais Focus Interactive n'a jamais été très à cheval sur ses qualités, de, sur ses performances, euh, sur ses techniques d'animation, ses performances, mais ils sont généralement très... Euh, on va dire, c'est pas un gros studio qui a fait le jeu, quoi.
know, Your Excellency. I wish you a good day, Your Excellency. Good day, good sir. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refused to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. <laughs> There's been a misunderstanding, sir. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just an agent. And I'm only obeying orders. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders? Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment. That's right. And so he must... I'll be... De Sorry, Cap. Following up. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise? If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You're demanding a second payment, but refuse to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? I don't think you understand who you're dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lord de Sade. Nephew of the Prince d'Orsay and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable. Especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion, theft. You know as well as I that the Congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That is a shame. Well... As orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise, without delay. Unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I beg your pardon, sir, but you are not my master. Moreover, the attendant of the guard was quite specific, saying this affair should be handled with extreme discretion. So I seriously doubt that you'll be wanting to drag us in front of a judge. That would stir up the muck. Whatever is he talking about, Kurt? Your guess is as good as mine. This is preposterous. Your master is a thief. I have no patience for bandits and robbers. Either you give us back what's ours, or we'll take it. Your idea of diplomacy isn't all that different from my own. And to the devil with ya! Since you leave us no choice. The merchant's clerk isn't hearing your arguments. The only thing left is a show of strength. Sorry, Greenblood. If I'd have known, I wouldn't have gotten you mixed up in this.
He seems to have grown wiser all of a sudden. Yes, yes. Don't hear me anymore. Very well. I'm counting on you to deliver this merchandise as quickly as possible. Yes, good sir. I'll take care of it immediately. to me. You won't regret this miraculous opportunity. Your time is precious in these dark hours, but what you're about to discover could save your life. Come closer now, good people. Don't be afraid. You'll find all you need in our selection. Welcome. It's such a pleasure to see you. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with?
for your visit. See you soon. Sir Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes. We were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me. I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, uh, if he finds an alternative solution that is less... Uh, illegal uh, that would be fine the method matters not but this cargo must reach the isle on the next ship marvelous well then i await your return with utmost impatience i'm certain you shall do what's required okay suite de quête Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. <coughs> There's some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sardé, the prince's nephew. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. <laughs> Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. 
We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority, and the formalities are long. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel... I wouldn't go that far. We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship for New Serene leaves in a month. Hellfire. If that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my hide. Captain, I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is a half-crazed bridge troll. He's gone into his head that a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tier 4 D. He's placed guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. All that is not in the warehouse, and no on the manifest, will be left on the docks. Sorry, but your crates are gonna have to wait until the next ship sets sail. <sighs> Sorry, Kurt. At least we tried. The commander is gonna have my head. I'm sure that's what he wanted in giving me this impossible task. In that case, we're going to have to dock to the manifest ourselves. It must be at the harbor master's office. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norts, you mean? I don't think so, but it's difficult to be sure. This Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Laura. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. You haven't heard anything about my cousin, by chance, have you? To be honest, we were hoping to find him here. Did you say he was intending on celebrating his departure? My men spoke of a rather animated party that went down at the Coin Tavern, but I haven't heard anything else. That isn't the safest place in the city. I hope nothing has happened to him. Let's go and find him. Thank you, Captain. Happy to be of some help. Be back soon, Captain. Ok, on a toutes les infos qu'on veut. Donc je dois aller trafiquer le registre à la capitainerie pour faire passer la cargaison. Ok. On va essayer de faire ça. Espérons que personne ne se mettra sur notre chemin. Petite sauvegarde. On va s'assurer aussi qu'on rate pas de quêtes, hein. on va vraiment trouver, essayer de trouver toutes les quêtes qu'on qu peut sur notre route. Ah d'accord, si on peut se déguiser, hein. si je porte une tenue de la faction dans les... qui est ici par exemple, je, je, je passe inaperçu. Let's take a look around the building. We might find a less conspicuous entrance. Where is the manifest to be found? I've already been to the port authorities. They keep the official documents upstairs.
Donc il y a un poids limité. Parce que je vois que là, qu'il y a un système de kilos. Et j'ai 46 pièces. Ok, ça.
Here's the ship's manifest. We only need to add our merchandise to the list. to keep your mark hidden from them. They might let us in, unless we just offered them a drink. These sailors rarely refuse one. I see where this is headed. If we drop a little soporific in their glasses, the way will be clear. I'll just need to find the proper ingredients, but it's doable. Hello? What can I do for you? With the relay. You're dismissed. Finally! We were starting to grow moss. Courage, me hearties. The path is clear. We should notify the men. They need all the time they can get. minutes je vais me marquer une petite pause on va aller aux toilettes peut-être me faire un petit truc à manger parce que j'ai pas assez mangé aujourd'hui je me sens un peu faiblard
Hello, sir. Allez les gueux, Captain, portez les sir, caisses. We were given orders to wait here with the merchandise. The way is clear. It's time to get going. Allez Do les gueux, allez les gueux. You won't have much time to move it. Don't you be worrying now. We're off. The warehouse is at the end to the right there. You can't miss it. Move out, quick steps.
Did you get what you came for? Leave me now, please. Citizens of Serene, come to me. You won't regret this miraculous opportunity. Your time is precious in these dark hours. But what you're about to do... So you're back. Right then. What about our business? We can guarantee that your merchandise will leave with us. <sighs> Thank you, Your Excellency. And bravo, Kurt. The commando will be most pleased. The cargo shall make the voyage. But who will be at its reception once it's arrived? That shall be your next mission. Once you've reached New Serene, go and find the Quartermaster. He will give you new instructions. Until then. I wish you a safe and pleasant voyage, Your Excellency. Kurt, good luck. Voilà, petite pause de maintenant 5 minutes, je reviens. Il se laisse jouer ce petit jeu.
Et me revoilà. Excusez-moi, j'ai mis un petit peu plus longtemps que prévu. C'est parce qu'il a fallu que je me cuisine quelque chose. Ça va vite. Voilà. Au moins, on a fini la quête. Je sais pas pourquoi le PNJ n'apparaissait pas sur la carte. C'est bizarre. J'espère que ça va pas arriver trop de fois, ça. Have you seen anything to your liking? Thank you for your visit. See you soon. D'accord, la bague c'est une arme. Ok, petit instant, je, je mange de temps en temps parce que sinon...
Et voilà, enfin, j'avais enlevé le casque parce que c'était trop bordélique. Sinon, voilà, continuons un peu. Ah, bien sûr c'est un univers complètement inventé hein. faut, faut le temps de se mettre dans l'ambiance enfin se mettre dedans quoi faire en plus de ce jeu là c'est qu'on va peut-être commencer j'ai un autre jeu en tête et on va peut-être commencer aussi stranger things comme ça on verra, on verra ce que ça dit d'abord aller enquêter sur le bâtiment dans le bâtiment T'as vu, c'est un, la... un peu un genre de jeu à la, à la Star Wars Cotor en fait, qui est un petit peu... Good day. Flavia Someone told me that you're a friend of Jonas's. Oh, oui. The young cabin boy who's gone missing. That's right, yeah. Are you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taking the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? When did you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro, and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Why? I haven't the faintest idea. What does Jonas do in his free time, when you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his pint like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. Does he know anyone in Serene? 
No one, as far as I know. Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart, and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. The itch for a drink gets us all, but to him more than others, and when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I call back to him, as you guess, but then nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a damn good navigator, and an excellent leader of men. He knows his craft well, in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. If he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. I need to be going. Farewell. Day, sailor. I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. Is that right? You're talking about Jonas. You bet your stars I know him. But like I've been crying to the nine death winds. He didn't go missing, he was taken. Well, no truth, yeah. Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puffed. Gone. Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me. But my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were, and I fell into the gutter. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And the captain? No, not telling him that. I still have some pride left, you get me? Did Jonas seem troubled to you, the night he disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't his usual self. Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. <sighs> you think my story is nothing but mist too, don't you? It's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. B but outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time. Kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled. But now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. I kind of remember his face being there.
What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a just man who knows his knots. He's well appreciated by the crew. It's a pity that he has a much heart for lass now and again. Always seems unhappy, our captain. Mm. Thank you, Lara. I need to be going. Strange story, this is. C'est au moins de finir là. La ville du début.
Good day, Tavern Keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? I'm looking for a nought. A young cabin boy who's been missing roll call for two days now. A nought, you say? Yes, get fancy, That's boy. not a lot to go on. There are quite a few that come to my tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping. In my establishment. You sure jest. At least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler, it would seem. I see. An able-bodied man. Passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors coming through. Where might I find him at this time? Here. He would never give away his chair at his table. Anything else? I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantine. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered, and no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? Twenty years of age, hair down to his neck, light brown, blue eyes, quite the talker. I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. I hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'd be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. That's not a small sum. I need to think about my options. Oh, the father has forgotten to give his son his allowance, it would seem. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. The furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. Well then, were you able to repair it all? No, I haven't been able to sort them out. In that case... Here you are, to cover your expenses. Excellent. Honest books makes for... <laughs> your cousin is either a very bad joker, or a right good fool. He went and insulted a band of ruffians from the lower boroughs. Dangerous fellows. They have a storehouse they operate out of a few streets from here. What kind of business do they run? Several, actually, and they're all illegal and profitable. But you didn't hear that from me. In any case, if you were set on recovering your cousin, I would hurry if I were you. They're not the tender salts. Thank you for the information. Off with ya. Get him out of whatever mess he's got himself into. Seemed like a courageous fellow. Who could down his pine? Anything else?
How is business going these days? It's picking up. We've no the Malachor. The epidemic. Now that we have it. Has the Malachor really put a damper on your business? <laughs> More than a damper, stop going. And then, that people was. I also. No, but that's not. With all these sailors coming and going, you must have heard. Right, they say. Treasure. <laughs> ah, but. You I need to be off. Goodbye. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Am I in your debt? No. Have no fear about that. It's for a different reason that I am here. I'm looking for a nought that disappeared two days ago after visiting this establishment. A young cabin boy. Two members of his crew accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. I've played with the three of them. What can you tell me about the boy? How was he that night? He seemed rather nervous, as if he was worried about something. Didn't feel like playing, that I remember. And he must have been right to be nervous, if he's disappeared. Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in, with a band of strong arms. The kind of men you can round up for a few coins, if you catch my drift. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive, not sitting pretty. And then they finally left. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. Who was the rich merchant, do you think? A jilted lover? A moneylender? No, sir. You are in luck. It so happens that I know the man. It was Sir Fontaine, that merchant. Where can I find him? He has a house in the wealthy boroughs, just off the canal. A stone's throw from the Tulemi Embassy. Thank you. You've been immensely helpful. This man is completely owned by his love for the game. Do you think we can trust him? What would he gain from lying? I have no idea. But what would any wealthy merchant gain from holding a penniless child? Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tierfordy on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it. And perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. 
A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The Prince would indeed give us his blessing. But it would take time. Far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. Could you tell me anything about Teleme? It would be a pleasure. As you already know, our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet. And give thanks each day to the Luminous for having gifted us magic. The high dignitaries of Teleme are at the same time our spiritual guides, advocates, and grand mages. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently in your nation. Ah. You must certainly be speaking about the debates that have divided the Ordo Luminous and the more political orders. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure vision of our faith and applies the words of our saint very strictly. But other, more open-minded factions exist within our nation. They believe that a less rigid dialectic would attract souls more readily to our faith. But their differences are purely theoretical, and do not threaten the cohesion of our nation, I assure you. What's your point of view on the relations between our two nations? As ambassador of Teleme, I can only rejoice at the mention of our commercial treaties. We appreciate as well the welcome that your uncle gave to our missionaries. Thanks to your support, more and more believers wander your lands. The congregation is our most precious ally. To be perfectly honest, we have a... that heresy is top... How is Teleme faring? We built a marvelous city. Did you know that sir, our missionaries there are a... Mo of course, there are... But I am confident that... The, and we have tremendous... How goes the conflict with the Bridge Alliance? We fight on every... These... And on Tier for D? The bridge, which leaves us... I must be going. May the luck... Might I help you, sir? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house could certainly receive you. Enter, please. Oh, I know you. I've seen you at court. You are Lord de Sade, and to what do I owe the honor of your visit, Excellency? I would like to have a word with your husband. He is not here.
But perhaps I could be of help. It concerns a delicate matter. We're looking for a missing cabin boy. According to witnesses, he had an argument with your husband before being taken. I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to the wrong conclusion. The cabin boy you speak of was not taken. He has simply returned home. Excuse me, but I'm not sure I understand. Don't you see, Your Excellency? We got our son back. I am very surprised. Several witnesses confirmed that your son had a fight with your husband and that his men escorted him from the tavern using force. If he had joined your husband willingly... Witnesses? In a tavern? And you choose to believe these drunkards over a respectable family? These witnesses are all in agreement and it's their testimonies that have led me to your doorstep. My son was probably... <laughs> My husband and the other men might have simply had to carry him. A gesture that your drunkards must have misunderstood. What was your son doing on a nought ship? Why would they have taken him? It is what they do. Through pacts and contracts, they steal away young children from their mothers. What are you talking about? I would have thought that a legate would know these things. But it is true that you are young and inexperienced. It seems that you have been protected from the turpitudes of our own nation and their terrible allies. This horrible, constant ransoming that they put us through. But I will not say another word. You will have no trouble verifying the details now that you know what to look for. Where might I find your son now? I cannot say, Excellency. You must understand why. Until the Norts have set sail, we live in fear they will take him back from us. This pact. It sounds like some fear-inducing story. The Norts wouldn't be the first to recruit through dubious means. Bon, euh, ce qu'on va faire, qu'on va s'arrêter là. Je reprendrai demain de bonne heure. Je, je commence vraiment à fatiguer en fait. J'ai mangé, j'ai mangé, donc je suis un petit peu envie de digérer tranquille. Parce que je, je suis un petit, un petit peu pesant sur l'estomac. Sur ce, je vous laisse ici et je vous dis en plus. Désolé pour Watch Dogs, hein, euh, ça a trouvé une solution. Euh, voilà. Donc, euh, bah, la solution sera de la, ça décide de la retrouver sur PS4. Je, je verrai, mais c'est chiant de racheter un jeu que j'ai déjà fait. Surtout, ce, surtout sur une PS4, ça coûte cher. Bon, allez, sur ce, je vous, je vous dis en plus.